Crafty Beach, this is Julie, and I have seven of my favorite coastal winter DIYs using supplies from the Dollar Tree. Now this first sign, I'm actually using a thrift flip sign. I thought this would be perfect. I had actually used it for another project, and so I just go over it in some white just to kind of give myself a blank surface on that one and then I'm going to use one of these little snowflake wood signs from the Dollar Tree just patching the hole in top with a little spackle and then we're going to paint it. I wanted it to be a real soft blue so I mixed like half Caribbean blue half ivory together got this real icy blue color and simply going to paint this little snowflake. I liked this one because it's kind of solid. There's lots of area that I can make this look like a hand painted sign, something really fun for winter that you can leave up all winter, not just for Christmas. So that's kind of the theme of all of these. They're all gonna be kind of winter, but with a coastal spin. And so I'm just getting a good coat on there and I'm just gonna use white paint pen, like a Sharpie white paint pen and try my best to freehand this. I'm gonna try to do like a Ray Dunn font for these letters. And then I might mix it up a little bit here towards the bottom. But if you're not confident doing it, you know, freehand, you can always use your Cricut. But I thought this thing was so funny for this. Sand is the new snow. So I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit and make it look good. And then I'm gonna use some of these little wood snowflakes from the Dollar Tree to kind of decorate the snowflake a little bit further, give it a little bit more fun touch. And I'm just using a makeup sponge and some white and simply painting those. And I'm just gonna attach those. I thought about doing a snowflake on each little point of the snowflake, but I decided less was more and I'm only gonna do four. One on the top, bottom, and both sides. And now I'm gonna add this thin Dollar Tree sign to this thrift flip sign that I just painted white. And I'm just gonna attach it with hot glue. And you could do this on any other kind of sign. You could do it from a Dollar Tree sign, a thrift flip sign, whatever you've got. But it's gonna make that Dollar Tree snowflake look way more high end and thicker. And then I thought it just needed a bow. So I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and cut it in half. And we're just gonna make a super simple X bow. Um, I got some of this ivory ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It's like a lace ribbon. And then some of this light blue ribbon from the Dollar Tree with the snowflake pattern on that. It's gonna go perfect with the sign, I think. And then we're just gonna cinch it all together with a zip tie. Easy peasy, I like an easy bow. and just secure that in the back. And then I can trim that off. And I'm gonna trim the ribbon a little bit too, to make it look a little bit better. Super cute. So I thought this would be cute kind of like on the side. So I'm gonna glue it to this one here, this part of the snowflake. And then I thought the final beachy touch on this would be really cute would be to add a sand dollar. Uh, these are the smaller ones I get on Amazon. They're available in my shop below. You could always use the larger ones from Dollar Tree. And this is how it turned out. I have this up again this year because I love it so much. Sand is the new snow. Perfect for a coastal winter, right? <laughs> Okay, are you ready for another Dollar Tree DIY? This is that snowman wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna give it a beachy makeover using some Dollar Tree rope. So this is the one that we are gonna use. It's the eight foot brown nautical rope. 
And we are, this project is so easy. We are just simply gonna line. It's got two um, wreath forms you see, one inside the other. And so we're just going to hot glue the rope on each one of those. So I'm gonna start it here at the neck. I think that's a good place to start um, seam wise. And then we're just gonna glue this all around the side. I'm working on a silicone mat. And so that helps um, any of the hot glue that this isn't sticking to anything. It's gonna be easy to remove. So if you're not, be careful with this step. And just gluing it all around. I'm gonna go ahead and just continue this piece. Once I get to the top here, because you, as you can see, we're gonna have a little bit of overlap going on there anyway, when the head part of the snowman comes into play. And just gluing this all around and I can then cut it once I get to the top of this circle. And that took pretty much a whole package of that. And we're just going to secure that with hot glue. You could also do this with the uh, white nautical rope from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to kind of hot glue the end and kind of, you know, kind of blend that in more to the top. But I plan to add a scarf anyway, which is going to kind of cover up some of that area. I've seen so many cute DIYs with these little snowman reef worms. I love all of them. I think they're so cute. I love snowmen. They've always been part of my winter decor for sure. And I love that you can leave them up like all the way to like Valentine's Day, right? And so we're doing the same thing here for the head of the snowman. Gonna do the outer one first. And once I get that all secure, I can go around on the inner one. If you had like a, a larger rope, you might not have to do two rows you might be able to do just one but with the Dollar Tree it definitely took two rows of this and there's our little nautical rope snowman and then we just need to decorate him a little more I'm going to go ahead and use a lighter to burn off all the fuzzies here just to make it look a little bit nicer And I have this one hanging up this year. I absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. I wanted to uh, do the arms. And so I switched to the thinner uh, brown rope from the Dollar Tree for the arms. You'll see I actually end up adding to this, but it's fine as is. I'm just going to glue a piece, the length of it, and then glue two shorter pieces of rope, like for the little snowman hand. I end up adding um, coral to this which not really necessary, but I really liked the beachy touch you'll see here in a little bit. And if you didn't want to do this part, you could always remove the arms and add some of the wire jute from the Dollar Tree. That would work really well too. But since the rope on this was pretty thick, it kind of looks like the arms need to be kind of thick as well. Now this is what we're gonna use for the hat and scarf. It's one of the light blue baby blankets from the Dollar Tree. I love working with this stuff. It's so easy to cut. It's like a felt, it's super soft, and it is the perfect beachy color. So I'm just gonna cut, um, I'm gonna double it up so you can't see that reform behind the fabric. And I'm just gonna cut a little rectangular piece that is the size of the hat. And you could always mix this up, whatever. I think burlap would look really cute too if you were using like the white rope for the snowman. And I'm just gonna kind of leave the seam part of the blanket on there and um, have that be the top part of the hat and it's going to give me a nice finished edge but again this felt super easy to cut and it doesn't fray it gets a little trickier right here because i kind of have to cut a little bit of an arc and i get that trimmed down to size so now we can just glue that on i just put hot glue all over the wreath form and glue the baby blanket down now i also need to do a brim of the hat. So again, I'm just going to use that baby blanket and I am gonna go ahead and use the seam that's already on there. I'm gonna double it up like I did before so you can't see through it. Nice thick piece of fabric and just cut off a little brim. It 
just trim that up to make sure that it looks perfect. And then we're just going to attach that with hot glue. And we have a quick, easy little hat for our snowman reef. Now, I wanted to give it some beachy decor, so I'm giving it one of these little sand dollars I get on Amazon available in my shop, but you can always use the one from the Dollar Tree. It's a tiny bit bigger. And then I thought, you know, I have to use some of these little coral trees from the Dollar Tree for the arms. I just have to. So I'm just going to break off the end of the, you know, the trunk of the tree because um, I really think these look like coral. Now, I could have removed the arms and added these, but it probably wouldn't have been as strong. So I'm just going to add them to what I've already got. But again, this part's optional if you've already used all of your coral ornaments from making my coral wreath and my coral Christmas tree. I love both of those this year. They're so much fun. If you haven't seen those, you'll have to go check out those videos. I did both of those this year. So I'm just going to hot glue one ornament onto each side. And we have little coral arms for our little coastal winter snowman. I think this is so fun. And it was so easy to put together. Now the only thing I have left to make with this baby blanket is a scarf. So I'm just going to cut a strip again using the seam. Always using the seam to my advantage there. To get a straight line and just a simple strip. And then we're just going to wrap that around his neck like a scarf. And just gluing that on so it stays in place. Now you can use this indoor or outdoor. Um, I use it indoor, but it would totally hold up outside as well, I think. The felt might get a little dirty depending on if you have a porch or not. But this is how it turned out. This is um, on the door to my garage. I think it's so fun. What do you think about our little coastal snowman? I love him. Okay, this project, I wanted to do a big sign to go in my entryway. Now I only could find one of the little snowflake long signs from the Dollar Tree, but that's okay. I still had two of the pumpkin ones left over from fall, but you know what? We are gonna make this work. I wanted to do a big, like let it snow sign and by putting all three signs together, and that's going to allow me to make a really big project, but using supplies from the Dollar Tree. So I kind of line it up with the openings of the pumpkins down, the snowflake up. And then I'm just going to use some of these Dollar Tree rulers for braces on the back of the sign. And to put it all together. Then I was like, wait a minute, no, I don't want it like that. I'm going to cover up the pumpkin cutouts, of course. And I'm going to leave uh, the snowflake cut out. And so I'm trying to get it exactly the way I want it. And then I'm just going to put them all together with the ruler and some hot glue. Easy peasy. It's going to give us a great big sign. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here on the other side using the flat side of that ruler. And while I'm back here, I'm going to go ahead and make a hanger out of some twine. And using the width of that wood um, and my stapler, I can just staple that on. Usually the staples go right through those Dollar Tree signs, but that made it thick enough. So this is how it looks right now. I have a snowflake sign um, over on the right there, you see. And we are just going to paint this a nice beachy blue. So I want to... It's all be the same color though. And I thought that if I painted that all the black would be way darker than the blue one, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go over it all with a coat of white first to give myself a blank canvas. I wanted to make a let it snow sign using one of these little wood let it snow signs from the Dollar Tree. Just filling in the hole on that with some spackle. And you know I don't want it to snow. I never want it to snow. So... I'm going to add to it. You'll see. <laughs> and I just want to paint this white because I'm going to do the big sign in like a light beachy blue. I love the white on blue for beachy signs and just using a makeup sponge and some white going all over and sponging that on makes it look nice and snowy. Easy peasy. And then we can go ahead and paint this sign. I am doing Caribbean blue, just acrylic paint. And I'm just going to go all over this big sign. The sign is so big, I can't get it all in my camera shot here on my workbench. But I'm just going to go ahead and work on half at a time here. <laughs> And 
And since I went in with that white coat first, the acrylic is covering pretty well. Now my plan is to cover up the pumpkin parts with some seashells and then leave the little snowflake part out. If you can find enough of the snowflakes ones, um, you wouldn't have to cover up the little pumpkins, of course. Now I kind of wanted to do a slight ombre effect, so I added some ivory to the Caribbean blue for this side, so we can kind of have that medium color of Caribbean blue fade into this really light color. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm doing both colors kind of today for these DIYs, and I want um, that to kind of coordinate together, so the largest piece um, is gonna kind of have both. Then I mix both the colors together here in the middle and do a slight ombre um, effect so it'll change in color from the top to the bottom of the sign. And just blending that with a makeup sponge. Now we're gonna go to Cricut Design Space and we're gonna add to that Let It Snow because you know I can't have it Let It Snow, right? So this is how I do it. If you're not real familiar with Cricut Design Space, I always like to put like a rectangle or a square first. That is exactly the size that I need it to be, which I measured on the sign. And that way my word will fit perfectly. And we are just going to make a stencil. I love using my Cricut to make stencils. It's probably the number one thing I use my Cricut for. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, you could always do this with um, like the little letter stickers from the Dollar Tree. But this way I can do a nice custom somewhere else. Cause you know, I don't want to let it snow, right? Then I delete the rectangle and then I can go ahead and cut this out. This is gonna be longer than your regular like 12 by 12 mat, but that's okay. I'm gonna use my longer mat and some of the stencil vinyl that I get on Amazon. It's always linked below in my shop. My stencil vinyl and my paper transfer paper, you'll see me here use it in a minute. I love it. It's like the best that I've found. And I'm just gonna simply weed that out and this is the paper transfer paper. It comes in like a six inch roll and a 12 inch roll. I have both and I use both. I, hmm, I might like the, I might use the six inch more, which is this one. And we're just gonna attach that to our stencil. And I love my Cricut. I actually got my Cricut like two years ago, I guess now. Um, for my husband and son for Christmas. It is a wonderful Christmas present if you want any uh, gift ideas for yourself that you can hint to your family. A Cricut is definitely a great gift. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here on the bottom part of my sign and secure that down. And I'm just using a makeup sponge and some white paint and we're going to make it say somewhere else down here. And I really look kind of like the spongy effect. It kind of makes it look a little bit more like snow. And I'm not too worried about bleeding because I always like that coastal beachy feel, especially on my hand painted signs. But I go over it with two coats to make sure that's nice and white against the blue. And we can peel off the stencil. Super fun. If you didn't want to do a hand painted sign, you could always cut it out of just Cricut vinyl and put the Cricut vinyl on there as well. Saves you a step. And then I'm just gonna go through and weed out the rest of the vinyl. Sometimes I use Mod Podge first before I do the paint. That way if anything bleeds, it's the Mod Podge, but sometimes I have problems with that. Sometimes it kinda comes out kinda squirrely, but. This worked pretty good. I'm also going to distress with some of that white and a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and make it look nice and beachy. And then I'm just going to use a big seashell that I actually found at the beach to cover up this pumpkin down here. Just attaching it with hot glue and there's no pumpkin there anymore, right? <laughs> and then we can attach the Let It Snow sign from the Dollar Tree above the somewhere else just by adding hot glue to some of the letters. 
And this sign is so fun. I had to save it for again this year. I'm actually getting ready to hang it right now. I finally got my tree decorated. My tree stand was broken. And I had to order a new one off Amazon. I had to wait for it to get here. And now I'm like, oh my gosh. I got my tree up so late, I'm going to want to leave it up all January. It looks so beautiful. And then I'm covering the top pumpkin with the sand dollar you saw there. And then I thought maybe another seashell down here at the bottom would be cute too. Just gluing that on. Now I wanted to frame it because, you know, it's a thin Dollar Tree sign. I didn't want it to look thin. I wanted it to look framed out. So I'm going to use some of this white rope from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to glue that all around the edges to give us a nice rope frame. This serves two purposes, you know, it gives you a frame, plus it totally adds to like the coastal beachy feel of the sign. And I'm not gonna cut it at the corner, I'm just gonna bend it and keep going all the way down the side of my sign. I'm sorry this project's so big, I couldn't really zoom out for this. And it goes around three sides there, I did cut it so it would be exactly the right length there because there was definitely not enough to go around the fourth side. So I will have to start another package of that white rope to finish off this last side. And that sand dollar is actually a real sand dollar. I get those on Amazon as well. Those are the larger ones that are available in my shop. But I'm, I'm thinking the ones from the Dollar Tree might be big enough. Last year when I made this project, I don't think I had any of those left. Now, these are some of the little snowflakes, the wood snowflakes from the Dollar Tree, and I thought it needed a few more snowflakes, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint two of those white to add to our side. And again, the makeup sponge is key. I just finally found some more of those at the Dollar Tree. I was so excited because I was running low. And we're just going to attach those. So we're going to have seashells and snow on this sign. I think it'll be really cute. And a one on each side of our sand dollar. And this is how it turned out. It's really big. Let it snow somewhere else. I think it looks so beachy and I love it. I love this saying. So if you don't want to let it snow, you can let it snow somewhere else too. It doesn't matter where you live as long as you're beachy at heart, right? Okay, our next DIY is super easy. I got this um, sign half price at the Dollar Tree. It looks like somebody's craft project never got completed. And we are just gonna paint this um, the Caribbean blue. So you could use a Dollar Tree sign for this. You could use a thrift flip sign, something you've already got, whatever. I liked this one because it was slatted. That always kind of gives me a, a beachy vibe. I like that. A little palette sign. And we're just gonna go over the whole thing with Caribbean blue acrylic paint. And then I want to do just another blue with white because I really like that for winter and for beach or coastal DIYs. And so I want to do a white snowflake on top of this. This DIY is going to be super easy. Now, once I get it painted blue, I do want it to look distressed. So I go over it with ivory and a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and then wipe off any excess with just a baby wipe to give me that nice coastal feel. And then I'm going to use one of these snowflakes from the Dollar Tree. This is the MDF one. Just fill in the hole from the hanger with some spackle and we can paint this. Now I want to kind of take advantage of the fact that it's already brown. So I'm going to do ivory, but as you can see, I'm going to distress it where it's going to be mostly ivory, but I definitely want some of that brown to show through. That way I don't have to go back and distress it for the coastal rustic feel. So I kind of just keep adding to it until I get the right color of white that I want. And I think this is going to look really pretty um, um, on the blue sign that we painted. And it's the perfect size. Now this is the other wood snowflake, you know, from the Dollar Tree. This has got all the cutouts, so it's very intricate. And we're just going to attach that to the sign with some hot glue on the back. Now I did want to give it a little bit more of a beachy vibe. We've got our beachy colors and our coastal distressing, but I thought the perfect final touch would be one of these little starfish from the Dollar Tree, just glued right to the middle of our snowflake. A little unexpected touch, but super cute and it goes well with it. And this is how it turned out, our little coastal snowflake sign. Our second one that we did. Now this I did the Caribbean blue. The other one I did in that softer color because I mixed it half and half the Caribbean blue with the um, ivory. 
Hey guys, I have a private Facebook group if you haven't joined. I have the link below. Um, you'll keep, um, I'll keep you updated on all of my videos and you get to see what everybody else is working on. I'm also really active on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. And I'm Crafty Beach on YouTube on all three of those. Okay, you guys ready for a wreath? I'm gonna use just one of these um, gold wire wreath forms from the Dollar Tree and some of these microfiber um, mop heads from the Dollar Tree. I think they look fun and snowy for winter. And this, you know, you could use like a thicker wreath for them like the foam one, but I kind of wanted this to be larger, so I'm using just the single gold one. But you could also use the one that, you know, the wire one that's thicker, um, cause this does turn out very lightweight, uh, which could be good if you want like a lightweight wreath for your door. I use this indoor just hanging on my wall. So I, of course I want it to be nice and light, but I just take it and fold the little mop head over and glue it to itself. And it covers quite a bit, um, of the wreath form as you can see there. Then I'm going to go with a second mop head and do the same thing. I'm gonna kind of, um, you know, work with it so it looks round at the end and not like a square because it's kind of looking like a square so far, right? <laughs> but just kind of working it together and spacing it out. What we wanna do is I wanna make this look like a coastal winter, like life buoy or life ring. Um, Cause you know, I think that's a really fun thing to hang on the wall for like coastal decor, but I wanted it to look like snow. So that's why I'm using these mop heads and four of them work perfectly to cover this wreath form. So I got it all together. Now to do the little strap parts on the life buoy, I'm gonna use some of this wired burlap from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut out four pieces and that's going to cover the four seams between all the different mop heads and uh, make it look way more finished. And just gluing that to the back and gluing that around. Super easy. Making a life buoy like this or a life ring is super fun. And I love it for a reef. It's just perfect for coastal decor. Going to do the same thing here on the second side. And I really liked the fact that I didn't have to cut the mop heads because these can be really messy when you start cutting them. The fibers all start coming out, but if you don't cut them like this, then you're not gonna have any mess. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around, just hot gluing it to itself on the back. And that's gonna secure it. I'm only gluing it down on the back because I need to have the rest of it a little bit loose so that I can add to the ropes and stuff to this at the end. I guess you could do that at the beginning, but I'm gonna go ahead and fish it through after I get all four of these secure. And then to make sure it's not going anywhere, I do cut another little piece of the burlap just to secure it on the back. And then I'm just using some Dollar Tree white rope and I'm gonna start the first one by gluing it under the ribbon. And then I'm gonna just kind of feed it through all of the rest of them. Leaving a little bit extra, that would be the rope on the side of the life ring. What do you guys call these? I know they're called life buoys. I know they're called life rings. I think I always called them like life preservers. I don't know. <laughs> Comment below. And I go all the way around. This rope was a scrap piece of rope. It wasn't quite long enough, but we're gonna make it work. Now, I didn't like the fact that it was, you know, kind of like laying up against it. You couldn't really see it. So I'm gonna actually wire the back of it with just some of this wire jute, just to make it where I can um, bend it and mold it and make it kind of stick out where you can see it. If your rope was a little bit longer than my piece, you might not have to do this step but I'm just gonna go around and do that just to make it a little bit more sturdy. I, I thought that you really couldn't see the rope. So I'm just gonna feed it through all of the ribbon like I did before and just attach it to the back of the rope with hot glue. You're not gonna be able to see it. 
and the final product. Okay, it's looking really good. I thought it needed a little bit of color, so I'm gonna use some of this blue ribbon from the Dollar Tree that has the little white snowflakes on it that I used on our Sand is a New Snow sign. And I'm just gonna cut one for each of the little burlap ribbons, and we are just going to glue that on the same way we did the ribbon. It's gonna add a little bit of blue to this DIY and really tie it all in together. And this was so easy. This would look great. Um, even if you had like a lake house or something like that, this would be a great coastal winter DIY. And the great thing about all these projects is that you can leave these up all winter. You don't have to take them down when Christmas is over. And here it is, our final product. It looks really fun hanging on my wall. I have brown walls, so that white really pops and it looks great for winter. I love this DIY. Okay, you ready for another snowman? I told you I love snowman. I got this little tinsel snowman from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take it apart and then I'm gonna remove all of this tinsel because I can't stand it. And I wanna make a coastal snowman. This one's gonna be a lot different than the reform that we made before though. This one's probably my favorite. Oh man, I really love how this one turned out. So I took all three parts apart and as you can see, I'm just removing all the ribbon, all of the tinsel, even the eyes and the hat. And then we are gonna use some of this white nautical rope, the six foot. You could probably use um, the longer one as well. You're just gonna have to wrap it around a little bit more, but I wanna cover all the snowman with it, starting in the center of each segment. So I just hot glue that to the center. And then we are just gonna spiral that around to make a big circle of rope for this part of the snowman, it turned out really well. And just kinda kinda snake that around. If I do have some cage, I do glue that to it, as you can see. Otherwise, I'm just wrapping it in a circle until it's gonna be large enough to cover all of that plastic cage. And I, I love the way this looks. I think it's so pretty. This would actually be really cute on a door as well. I actually have it hanging in my entryway. I kind of have like a um, wall that kind of, how do I explain it? It's kind of a diagonal wall and it like looks perfectly there. Again, against my brown wall. Now you can kind of see these tabs on the side. So I'm just going to trim those off. I don't want you to be able to see anything except for rope. So that was the largest segment. That's like the bottom of the snowman. This part is gonna be the middle part of the snowman. And I kind of have to be creative where I start gluing that down because it didn't really have a center. But again, just gluing wherever I have the cage. I'm not really gluing it to itself. I'm just kind of gluing it down to the cage. And then just again, trimming off all of those little peg pieces that were sticking out that were holding the tinsel on there before. But leaving the little hooks on there because I wanna be able to hook it back together. Now for the head, we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We don't have a full circle, but we do have like a center part here where I can start with the spiral. And again, just gluing it to the cage. I had so much fun decorating this. It turns out so cute. And trying to keep this as symmetrical as I can because I did kind of have to start not exactly on the center there, but kind of hide this part up underneath the hat. And again, I'm gonna use some of that baby blanket from the Dollar Tree, um, the little baby blue blanket. I love this. And I'm just gonna cut out a little piece for the hat, double layer it up, use the seam for the top, just like I did on the snowman wreath form. 
Easy peasy. And just attaching that with hot glue, overlapping a little bit of the snowman's head. And then again, I'm gonna use just the seam part and cut a strip, double it up and make a brim for the hat. It's super easy to cut and does not fray, but you do have to make sure that you get it even there. Glue it to itself, and then I can glue the top part of the hat on here. And if you didn't wanna do blue, you know, this would look really cute with burlap or black even, a traditional snowman hat. All right, now it's time to think about decorating the face. I'm gonna use seashells. So I got some of these little teeny tiny seashells from the Dollar Tree. I used um, two bigger ones for the eyes and then five tiny ones for the mouth of the snowman. And my favorite is I used one of the little spiral seashells from the Dollar Tree for the nose sticking out. It looks just like a carrot. If you wanted these to be, you know, colored, you could always paint them as well. I kind of wanted the authentic shell feel, so I'm just kind of leaving them all natural. I did kind of pick out kind of matching colors, though, to themselves. And then for the little buttons to go down the front of the snowman, I thought I would just go ahead and use some seashells as well. And I'm going to go all the way down just for fun. Now I gotta just put it back together. I left the little hooks on here so that I could hook it back together. That part's important when you start trimming it is that you leave that intact. And then I'm just gonna use some twine to make a new hanger for the little circle that I left on the top as well. Then it's gonna need a little scarf for our snowman as well. So I'm just gonna cut a strip like I did before. I'm on the snowman wreath for a quick little scarf. And we're just gonna kind of tie that around his neck. He kind of has a skinny neck, but that's okay. We can kind of make it work. So cute. Isn't he lovely? I love him. Now for, he's gonna need some snowman arms. So I'm gonna use some of this wire to shoot from the Dollar Tree and cut two long pieces for arms and two shorter pieces for hands. Just twisting those around. You gotta kinda be careful that twine likes to come off the wire. I always cut mine a little longer if I need to work with it a little bit because I know I'm probably gonna have to trim it down. Then I'm just gonna attach the arms with hot glue onto the back of this rope part of the snowman. And that's all there is to it. We have a coastal rope snowman for winter. I think he's so sweet. I think the shell from the nose is my absolute favorite. What do you guys think about this guy? So, so cute. Hey guys, I have a second channel now. It's called Crafty Little Beach. And that's where you'll find all of my shorts, which are like one minute DIY videos. I also have a new clips over there where it's like my DIYs in three minutes. So it's kind of a little longer, a little bit more detail, but still one project. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get some watch hours over there so that I can monetize that second channel when they start paying for shorts in February. So come check me out at Crafty Little Beach. I would appreciate it so much. Now this next DIY is I got one of these little let it snow sled signs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint over the sled part um, cause I kinda wanna do my own thing there. I'm gonna leave the let it snow on there even though you know I don't want it to snow. <laughs> but I used this Kirby and Blue paint. It really kind of matched the color that was on the let it snow part kind of going over enough times to cover up the pattern that was on there. Now I kind of wanted to make it look like sand on the bottom. I'm just using some chalk paint. I think this was the color cashew and I'm just going to kind of make that look, you know, kind of all beachy like here at the bottom. 
lots of curves. You could also glue on sand. That would be really cute for this. I kind of wish that I had when I was looking at it. And I kind of want to do a snowman on there like it was before, but I want to do like a beachy snowman. I'm going to kind of, you know, just do a little ivory here, a little sea foam, kind of do some white caps because this is going to be my ocean scene if you catch my drift. Kind of make this sled our own for a coastal winter. And I made this for the side of my cabinets in my kitchen. I think it turned out really fun. Of course, with my ocean, I kind of want some different shades of blue. So I do like just kind of pick some different colors that I had. I think this is lagoon maybe. And just doing some little bit of different shading in the ocean. No big deal. And then I got one of these little wood snowmen from the Dollar Tree. And I thought that could be our snowman. So I'm going to go all over him with just some ivory paint. And then wipe off the excess paint because I still kind of want to see the details of the snowman down there. So that I can decorate this guy. I'm going to attach him to our sled with a little hot glue. Kind of like sitting on the beach. Adding some waves. <laughs> and kind of distressing him a little bit too. I want him to kind of look like a coastal beachy snowman for this little sled. Now I'm just going to use some paint pens and we can kind of decorate this little guy. You can kind of see, uh, you know, the print that was below there with all the details, like the little scarf I'm going to do in this like soft minty green. And I'm also going to do the hat in that color as well to make him look nice and coastal. I love staining or painting these little wood signs from the Dollar Tree. Um, I always throw away the markers if they come with them and just kind of do my own thing. And I'm just going to use a blue marker to draw on the eyes, the mouth, the buttons. He's holding a little bird in his hand, which we can have a little blue, you know, shore bird, right? <laughs> kind of color him in. And I'm going to do an orange Sharpie for the little carrot nose. And then I thought, I kind of needed to outline them, so I'm just using a blue um, permanent marker. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I am going all around the edges where I can still see the details of the snowman and kind of coloring that back in. I'm going to distress that bird a little bit to make it look a little bit beefier. And kind of outline them in that like softer blue color. I'm also going to distress where it says let it snow to kind of make it, you know, vibe more with everything else. And you know I don't want it to let it snow, right? So I'm just going to use a, I'm, I, this is a white chalk marker from the Dollar Tree. I tried that first. Um, just because I kind of wanted, you know, a really light powdery looking. And I just freehand that on in cursive somewhere else. I didn't think it was enough though, so I am going over it with a white paint pen. But that gave me a nice starting place to start with and just freehand that on there. Easy peasy. That was kind of cursive on the top, so it kind of goes together. And being a perfectionist, I'm going over it one more time until I'm totally happy with it. I know I've got some other perfectionists out there. It's one reason I probably don't sell my crafts is because I don't think a craft would ever be perfect enough for me to want to sell it to somebody because I would think that, oh, you know, I messed up that little tiny bit there. But when I make stuff for myself or my, my friends and family, I don't really mind. So I just sealed that on there. I'm going to go over um, the wood part of this lay too and just distress that a little bit to make it look a little bit more coastal with just a lighter color of brown. Just to lighten that up a little bit. And as you can see, I left the hanger on there so I don't really need to replace that at all. And it wasn't in my way. And then since it's at the beach, I thought, you know, we have to have some seashells. 
So I'm just going to use some seashells from the Dollar Tree, just trying to pick out what I think is going to look good, some different colors and variety, and we're just going to attach those to the sled with some hot glue. This was a really fun DIY to put together. It's not super professional. If you wanted it to be a little bit more professional, you could use your Cricut um, to make some vinyl for somewhere else or to make a stencil, but I was just having some fun with this project for real. Kind of distressing it a little bit more. And there it is, our little let it snow somewhere else. I thought a bow would be cute here at the top, so I'm using some of that Dollar Tree Snowflake ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a simple bow up here just for another little dose of blue and a few snowflakes to go with the Let It Snow theme. Because we've added a lot of beach to it. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. This is how it looks on the side of my kitchen cabinet. Super whimsical and fun. Again, not wanting any snow here. No thank you. We did have snow on vacation when we just went to West Virginia for Thanksgiving, so that was fun. Okay, guys, here is the final reveal. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your favorite DIY below, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. We are trying to get to 11,000. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time If you'd like more Crafty Beach YouTube thinks you might enjoy this video right here.